everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello, welcome. My name is Ruby and I am doing one of my absolute favourite videos to watch, one of my favourite videos to film and I know that you guys love them as well and obviously you guys will have guessed from the title and the big box sitting next to me that this video is a Zara haul. Now we are going into the sort of autumn now. Um, it is actually the very last day of August as I film this and it is raining right now as it has been for most of August. So I decided to, um, you know, start buying some sort of autumn sort of essentials, some of them, and also some of them are trend pieces as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, without further ado, let's get into the video. I have one big box here. I have this bag here. And then this bag here, and then I have a couple of other bits I have already worn and stuff like that, so I thought I would sort of chuck them into the video too, just so it was like, you know, full of loads of stuff basically. So let's get on with it. So if you are new here, then I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video as well, then please do give it a big thumbs up just down below and leave me a comment and let me know that you enjoyed it. So let's go. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this blazer, which I actually bought yesterday, but I put it on pretty much as soon as I got it and I wore it today as well. You know, sometimes when you buy something, you're just so excited to wear it. So it is this kind of like, please ignore the fact that I'm wearing joggers underneath. Um, but it's like this kind of camely blazer, um, really nice kind of beige camel colour, really, really soft material. Going a little bit closer so you can see it has little button detailing here. Um, and then obviously it has the button here. So it's just single breasted. It's got two pockets either side um, and yeah I just really really like it I think it's that nice mix between sort of smart and casual because it's like quite a smart colour and obviously it's got the like structure of the lapels and stuff like that but it's quite a sort of soft material so it's not really stiff which I really really like it's a really good length as well you'll see it in the cutaway um, it's a really good length I just think it's very flattering and I think it's such an essential to have in your wardrobe I have a lot of these colour blazers but I really like this one it's a little bit different all my other ones are quite stiff and very structured um, and I just like how this one's like a nice throw on one quite casual but it could also be sort of dressed up as well for like an evening out or you can even wear it into work as well so I picked this one up in a size large just because I wanted it to be really oversized but um, I also so I picked this one up in a size large just because I want it to be a little bit oversized but I wouldn't say it is that oversized for a large I would normally wear a small in Zara probably a medium in their blazers but I tried on the large and it fitted fine um, and it was actually the only one they had and I just really wanted it so um, but actually I think it fits really well and it was $49.99 which I think for a blazer you're going to get a lot of wear out of I don't think that's too bad I think I could wear this with black outfits as well maybe as it gets a little bit colder wearing it with like a black roll neck and some leather jeans and some boots or something like that I think there's loads of ways to wear this so yeah this is my first little purchase so next up I think I'm going to go into the bag before we open up the box. So this is all stuff that I bought yesterday. So um, I went down to the Kings Road in Chelsea and picked these up. I love that Zara store by the way. If you're in London I fully recommend heading to that one. Um, so first thing I got is a pair of jeans. Um, I just thought actually I'm going to tell you about this blazer because I feel like you might spot it in the video. But to make sure that your blazer sleeves stay up, it's a little secret that I learn. If you just pop a hairband around it just like this and then pull up the sleeve like that and then tuck it all round and then it stays up. I only had one hairband so I haven't done it with this one um, but I thought you might potentially see it so I thought I'd talk about that now and also it's just a really really cool hack and I literally do it all the time with blazers. But anyway, back to the jeans. So um, I have been on the hunt for some new jeans just because I feel like the ones that I wear all the time are starting to get a little bit kind of like tatty, like the rips are getting really big and stuff like that. So I saw these in Zara yesterday um, and they're a mom jean and they're just a really, really nice wash. So that really nice kind of light denim wash, very sort of authentic, true denim color as well, which I love. I put these ones up in a 10 and, oh, there's no label on them, but I think they were around 29.99. Um, so yeah, this is just the back there. The front like that, they're a very basic pair of jeans really and they just go down. Uh, they've got a roll in the leg, but you can unroll that. I don't know what these are actually going to look like on. Um, obviously, I'll have to see in the cutaways. Hopefully, they're nice. So, they are also 100% ecologically grown cotton, which is brilliant. And it also means that they're not going to lose their shape because they haven't got loads of elastine in and stuff like that. So, yeah, really, really like them. Um, hopefully, they look nice on. I just think, you know, they'll look great with a pair of trainers, you know, a white t-shirt or, you know, just with this outfit. Any outfit, really. I literally live in these kind of jeans. You're only able to follow me on Instagram uh, to know that I literally live in these so much. I live my Instagram on the screen, by the way, if you don't follow me. <laughs> 
Hey, so I just wanted to jump in here quickly because the rest of my cutaways won't have any sound on them, but I think it's quite important for jeans for me to tell you what I think of the fit of them and everything like that. So these are the pair of jeans on. First thing I will say is they are really tight and they're a size 10. I think it is because there really isn't any stretch in them. So just bear that in mind, because I do normally wear an eight in jeans, but um, I think I would actually potentially have to go up to a 12 maybe, I don't know. Um, so yeah, they're quite tight sort of around the waist and everything like that. Um, but other than that, I really like the fit. Obviously you will see the fit of the leg on the cutaway, um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that you should probably size up or I don't know, maybe they'll stretch a little bit, but I'm not sure. Okay, so next up is something that's a little bit different for me, but I just saw it and I thought it looked really, really cool. Um, I actually spotted this on someone's Instagram, Rosie Connolly, she's from Ireland, she's like without doubt one of my favourite bloggers on Instagram. I'll leave her page down below, but yeah, I saw this on her, I thought it looked really, really cool and I just thought it was a bit different and just a bit fun. So it is a boiler suit. So boiler suits were really, really in last autumn. I had a denim one, which I still have, um, and I had one, like a creamy colour one, which I wore loads. I'm just going to button this up because the buttons are undone. Um, but I saw this one and I quite liked how it is a little bit less structured than the other ones. The other ones, um, you know, had like lapels and they had a collar and everything like that. Um, but I quite liked the material of this too. It was very soft material, whereas my denim one is quite stiff. Um, and I just loved the colour of this. And I thought it would just, I don't know, I just thought it would be quite a different thing to add to my wardrobe. Sorry, once I've done up all of these buttons, <laughs> should have probably prepared this before. Bear with me. So yeah, it looks like this on the front. So obviously it doesn't have any collar or anything like that. It's just sort of straight down. And then it has about six or seven buttons. Um, and then it goes all the way down to kind of like a tapered leg. Just realized I definitely should have worn jeans for this video because all you can do is just see my joggers, but there we go. Um, but yeah, it goes down to like a tapered leg. Um, it's kind of hard to show you obviously like this. So you'll see it better in the cutaway, but it also has like a little belt here, um, really hard to show you this, so I will show you obviously more in the cutaway. I put this one up in a size small and it was $49.99. This ranges from an extra small to an extra, extra large, which I think is amazing. So just for your information, it is 90% lyocell and 10% polyester. Okay, so next up we have some like green trousers and sort of like tracksuit combo. So one of my friends, Naomi, um, picked this up and she looked really, really cool in it, so I wanted to give it a go. So it, so these are the bottom, so these are the bottoms and it's just like a tracksuit, has like a lighter green waistband, as you can see there, and then it goes down into this dark green colour. And um, what I really, really liked about this is it has like little slits at the front, like that. So I thought if you're wearing like a chunky trainer, that'll look really, really cool. Um, actually, I think those slits might be at the side. Yeah, they're at the side. Um, so yeah, they're really basic pair of trousers, nothing too exciting, but I really like the colour. Thought it was a little bit different, and as you'll see, I loved the fact that it came with a matching top. So, if I show you that matching top, this is the top. Kind of gave me sort of like, I don't know, was it like 80s vibes or something? I think this top is just like very like retro. I love the detailing on the sleeve, which obviously matches the waistband, and it's kind of like a little zip up neck and then it goes down into a elasticated bottom so obviously you can pull that in um, but I just thought it would look really really cool with a pair of white chunky trainers and then those two just tucked into each other just for like a really really casual look but also to look like you have still made effort do you know what I mean you know when you want to be really comfy um, and just look very chilled but not like slobbish if you get me um, so that was my idea with this one. I also think this would look cool with like a white t-shirt and a denim jacket or you know leather jacket even maybe. So yeah, I don't know, we'll have to try it on and see, but I got this one in a small and it was 25 99 I'll just get the material for you because I know people do like to know. Um, so it is 97% polyester and 3% elastin. And then next up I picked up a pair of sunglasses. I don't normally buy sunglasses in Zara, but I saw these and I just really, really liked them. And they came in a little case, uh, just like this. And I'm gonna come in a little bit closer to show you. So they came in a little case. Is that focused? So they came in a little case just like this. So if I just open them up to show you. These are the sunglasses. Sorry, you're gonna get the reflection there. But I just really, really like the shape of them. They're like that obviously tortoise shell kind of um, rims. And yeah, I just thought they were quite cool. So they were 15.99, so they weren't like super expensive. So I normally always wear Ray-Bans, but I thought like for a holiday, just like sort of by the beach or something like that, or just for photos and stuff, these were quite fun. So if I just try them on, I don't know, do they suit me? 
<laughs> I feel like these are the type of sunglasses that you can't wear like that. That you have to wear them like down your nose. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. So next up I have a couple of pieces that I have had from previous orders that I haven't worn yet. So, but I've got out and tried on everything like that. So first one is this one. So I have this in black and it is like a little cardigan that has these organza sleeves and I love the black one so much. I'll pop a picture of me wearing the black one on screen. Um, I just think it's like really different, just a bit of fun. So when I saw the yellow one, I was like, oh yeah, really fancy that. It actually is being quite washed out on camera. It's definitely brighter than that. I don't know why the camera's washing it out so much. Hopefully you'll be able to see on the Zara website how bright it is. Um, it's not that bright, it's kind of like lemon, I'd say. Anyway. I really, really like the organza sleeves on this and I like how it goes into little cuffs here. Just a really cute one. Really like the um, buttons and stuff and everything like that. And I just thought it would look really nice with some denim. Also really nice like on a night out maybe with some jeans and heels. And yeah, just a little bit different really. So this one was 25 99 and I got it in a size small. So yeah, that's that one. Now next up is something that I didn't know Zara did and I'm sure a lot of people won't know either because I don't think they really advertised it. The only reason I knew is because one of my friends was wearing this and she had got it done. So basically this is a hoodie. So it's just a plain zip up hoodie. Obviously it's got the big hood here. Um, that's all it is, really nothing too exciting. Uh, it's really oversized. I got this in a size medium so I wanted it to be sort of big and oversized. But what is quite exciting is if I come up a little bit closer, you can get it like embroidered. So as you can see there, I've got RH put on it. Um, and I just thought it was such a nice idea. Like they don't charge any extra for the um, like service or anything. So the embroidered size is only on a certain number of pieces. You can get it on jeans, you can get it on denim jackets. There's loads of stuff. So if you type in edited to the Zara website, that will come up with all the stuff that you can get embroidered. Um, so this was one of them. It was $25.99 and that was it. I didn't pay any extra, like I said, for the service. But it just looked like a really, really cosy, comfy hoodie. And I'm a bit of a sucker for anything personalised. So I just thought that was a really nice idea. Also be a really nice gift for someone. Um, like I said, they did jeans, denim jackets. They did loads of stuff, denim shorts. So yeah, just like a bit of fun really. And something that I thought a lot of you guys might not know about. So yeah, really happy with that. Just for like lounging around the house. Or I can wear it out with like some jeans and a white tee or something like that, some trainers. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Next up, I have some more sort of joggers and stuff. You guys can tell that I was thinking of like cozy, autumnal, cold days when I was doing this order because it's literally just like comfy clothes. But I picked up these um, sort of matching sweatpant and hoodie set. So it's white, which is a little bit dangerous. And I have just noticed that it's a tiny bit of makeup on it already, which I don't think was me. Um, but there we go. So <laughs> these are the joggers here. So they're like this knitted kind of material um, and they just have two pockets here, obviously a drawstring at the front and then they go down into um, some little cuffs like that which you can roll up or just leave as they are. Um, and yeah, that's kind of as simple as it gets really. There's a little pocket on the back too. They are the comfiest, softest things ever. Like I can't even get over how soft they are. Um, I got this in a size small and it was 25 99 I'll check out the material. Um, so it's 47% viscose, 27% nylon, and 26% polyester. By the way, just to say, if I forget to read out any materials, they are all listed on the website, so I'll obviously put all the links down below. And if you click on there, and I think you click, maybe it's like care and instructions or something like that, it will tell you, composition and care actually, I think it is, it will tell you exactly what it's made of. So if I do forget, it will be on the website. But yeah, so that's that. Um, they just look so cosy, and I just imagine them with like a big, like, big sort of beige mac or something like that or like a trench coat kind of style uh, with these and some trainers and the matching hoodie. I mean I don't know if the full white is a little bit dangerous and I don't know how well these are going to wash because I have had some similar to this material from Zara before that went really bobbly when I washed them. Um, so I don't know if maybe they are a little bit of a silly purchase but I just couldn't resist. They're just so soft. Um, and then this is the matching hoodie. So again, maybe a silly purchase with makeup. I do know that this comes in black as well, by the way, which um, I think I may get if I return the white. I think I may go for the black um, because, yeah, I'm kind of thinking, now I'm looking at it, this is literally bright white. But anyway, <laughs> so this is the hoodie. It's kind of cropped. 
Um, it has like kind of like big oversized sleeves and cuffs at the bottom and then just a hood like that. So it's pretty simple, nothing too exciting. I put this one up in a medium just so I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized where it was cropped. I didn't want it to like show my tummy or anything. And this was 29 99 So yeah, obviously I will show you guys this in the cutaway, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it because I'm a little bit concerned about it getting dirty and also washing it. So I think I may just perhaps change it for the black one. Uh, so I will link both down below. Okay, so we finished all the bags. So now I'm gonna open up this box. I did this order probably, I'd say over a week ago and I've kind of forgotten what's inside it. I know one thing that's inside it, definitely. So I'm just gonna pick it out of the box sort of as and when it comes. So first up, I ordered this blazer, um, which is a pinstripe blazer. And it has little shoulder pads, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so if I just show you a little bit closer, it's kind of this like dark navy. The camera's sort of making it a lot brighter than it is. But it's this dark navy pinstripe, double-breasted. Obviously has the two buttons there and the two pockets. It's very sort of like wide fit, as you can see. Look how big that is. Kind of probably just looks like sort of your boyfriend's blazer or something, but I really like that style anyway. I picked this one up in a medium. As I said, I do normally pick up my blazers from Zara in a medium. Um, but looking at it, it's pretty big, so maybe I should have gone for a small, we'll see. Um, this one was quite expensive, it was £89.99, but it is very thick um, and really, really good quality. I just imagine myself wearing this for so many years. I think it's a real timeless piece, so I think I could wear it with, you know, some mum jeans, a white top and like my Gucci loafers, for example. Um, I think I could wear it with a big black chunky roll neck or a thin roll neck. Um, I think it would look really cool with like some denim shorts too and like a white shirt or something. I don't know, I just have like quite a lot of ideas in my head about it. And yeah, I just think it's very sophisticated and just a really cool piece, quite different. You don't see that many sort of pinstripe ones out there, sort of on Instagram and stuff. So yeah, pick that one up, really like that. We'll see how it looks on, hopefully it's not too chunky. I seem to have a bit of a green theme in this video. So next up I have this kind of shirt jacket. So I picked this one up in a medium and it was 49.99 and um, it is basically just a big old check shirt but it's kind of a little bit padded so it's a little bit thicker than your standard check shirt but it's this really nice sort of deep green check with kind of like a white and like brown grey running through it um, not really too much more to say very sort of like lumberjack vibes obviously it has the um, cuff detailing here but it definitely does feel thicker like it's got pockets um, which are like lined and stuff inside. So it definitely does feel thicker than just your standard shirt. So I think they actually have this on like their jackets um, section. So yeah, it definitely is more of a jacket. So I just checked inside and the inside isn't actually lined. So it's not too thick, uh, but yeah, obviously more thick than your standard check shirt. Um, the only thing I will say is a little bit itchy. Let me have a look at the material. I reckon maybe it's got some wool in it. So it's 88% polyester and it's 12% wool. So I didn't actually know that when I made the order, I probably should have checked. Um, but I find wool really irritates my skin. So perhaps this one might have to go back. But we'll see. If I'm wearing something sort of long sleeve with it, it'll be okay. But yeah, I thought it was really cool. Just a nice sort of casual piece. And yeah, so that's that one. I did think I had ordered some more jeans. Okay, so next up we have this pair of jeans. So I got them in a size 10. Um, they were 29 99 and these are a very slouchy fit. Like they aren't mum, um, they're not boyfriend, they're just kind of like huge. So <laughs> basically this is the waist just like this. Um, and then as you can see, look how wide the legs are. They're kind of like balloon shape. Um, and then they go down into like a tapered leg and they actually have like a little dart at the bottom there. Um, they smell kind of weird. Why is it whenever I order denim? It smells like swimming pools. Um, these actually don't feel anywhere near as nice as the other ones that I picked up in store, but I'll definitely try them on. I am always looking for like new shapes and jeans and stuff, and I don't know, I just thought they were a little bit different. I know they do these in loads of different colours as well. I think there's like a um, sort of a beige colour, they do them in black, I think, maybe a white. I thought these would maybe look really nice with like a quite a tight fitted top and some really nice strappy heels because obviously you're kind of contrasting those like big baggy jeans with the sort of more feminine detailing of the heels um, and yeah maybe like a little tight maybe like crop top or something I don't know we'll see we'll see how we go but yeah so I picked them up but they really smell <laughs> Okay, so just me again jumping in with uh, another pair of jeans. So these ones are massive. <laughs> Literally Zara's jeans are just like all over the place, but I'll show you, obviously you'll see in the cutaway too, um, but these are like way too big for me, so I would need to size down, definitely. Um, I know the style is they're meant to be big, but I think they're meant to look a lot bigger than I am. So um, yeah, 
Obviously, if you want to get these ones, then I would recommend sizing down. They are really comfy though, like so comfy. And another pair of jeans. God, so many jeans. Okay, so these are again a mum fit. Again, I picked them up in a size 10 because they seem to be a size 10 in Zara jeans. And they were $25.99. Again, these feel a lot softer uh, than the other ones I just showed you. Um, so, I mean, obviously I'm not going to keep all of these jeans. I'm going to find the ones that suit me the best and then return the others, but I always just find it's better to buy them, try them at home when you're most comfortable, instead of getting all hot or bothered in the changing room. But anyway, these are the jeans, very sort of basic blue colour, but I do like the bottoms on these, kind of like a ripped hem, which I think is nice. So yeah, I mean, really not too much more to say about these. Obviously this is the back, but yeah, just pretty standard pair of jeans, so we'll see if they fit okay. I'm not 100% on these now, I'm looking at them, uh, but I do like the raw hem, so yeah, let's see. Okay, so me again with the jeans. So I think these are my favourite. They are super comfy, I think they fit really nicely. They may be a little bit big around the waist, so I could potentially get them taken in, because I think if I went a size down, they would be too small, and I like how comfy they are. Um, but yeah, just really, really nice, flattering pair of jeans, and yeah, really, really comfy and I really like the length, so yeah. Overall, these ones are a definite win. Just thought I would show you them on the bum as well. So obviously, that is important. <laughs> so, next up is some t-shirts. So, I just picked up some basic tees because I felt like I didn't have, I had a lot of white basic tees, but that was kind of it, and I quite wanted to try a few more colors and stuff like that. So, first one I picked up was this one, which is like a beige color, has a pocket on the front, and yeah, nothing too much to say about it. It's quite a boxy fit. I think I got this one in a small and it was $12.99, so yeah, they're quite oversized, but I just think these look really nice chucked on with some skinny black trousers, some skinny black jeans, and my Doc Martens, and then like a big coat or a jacket, a leather jacket, trench coat, something like that. So yeah, I picked that up, and I picked the same one up in the black. So yeah, pretty boring, nothing too exciting, but, oh, we've gone overexposed. There we go. Nothing too exciting, but yeah, again, $12.99. Let me see what they're made of. Hang on. So it's 100% cotton, which is brilliant, so obviously nice and breathable. So yeah, that is that one. Oh, <laughs> I thought we had finished with the jeans, but apparently I picked up some black skinny jeans, which I did really need, so I'm glad that I did that. Um, so these are just their super, super elastic, stretchy jeans. I got them in a size 10, they're 19.99. These have been going for a couple of years because I used to wear these at uni and I used to absolutely love them. They're sort of a washed out black. Um, and they're just, yeah, really high-waisted, really stretchy, and yeah, I, I remember them being very flattering, so hopefully they haven't changed the style or anything. Uh, they have a proper hem and stuff. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Like I said, please do let me know down below what you liked, what you didn't like, just anything. If you want to chat, just comment down below. And obviously I mentioned my Instagram earlier in the video, so again, I'll put my name on the screen here if you want to follow. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!